you got appointment, you get there, you knock on the door, and guess what? They won't even open the door for you, or they don't cancel your appointment, you don't even know. Hey, 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 what's up, Lock family? Welcome back to Jazzy Locks. I'm your girl, Jazz. I'm back another video. If you're new here, welcome, friend. Glad to have you. I know it's been a while, y'all, but I'm Jazz. I create lock content, vlogs, girl chit chats, all type of things, honey. And your girl is back with a new video. What is up, Lock family, y'all? I know it's been a while. We're going to get into where I've been, what's been going on, why y'all ain't seen me in the past three weeks. But I am back with a new video. As you have seen the title, I'm back with a um, lock update to let y'all know what's going on with my locks, where your girl been, why I ain't been posting. Um, and we're going to get into my loctician, okay? But before we do all that, I'm going to go ahead and ask you all. I know y'all probably like, how dare you? But I'm going to have to ask you all, so go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching my videos, if you want to be part of the Lock family, go ahead and subscribe, y'all. I know I've been absent for a while, but come on and join the Lock family. Your girl is back, and I promise I'll do better, y'all. But let's go ahead and get into what we're here for today. First thing first, go ahead on and drop it in the comments. Let me know how your Lock journey is going. Um, if you're in your three-month mark, let me know. If you just started your locks, let me know. If you don't reach your two-year anniversary, let me know. Let me know how y'all lock journey is going. I want to know what's going on, y'all. Please let me know. Make sure you drop that in the comments. So let's go ahead on and get into what's been going on with me. So first thing first, your girl hair is flourishing, y'all. It is growing like crazy. Um, Pretty soon, I'm going to be doing an uh, in-depth lock update so y'all can see um the comparison from the last time i did a lock update to now but just right now i'm just showing you in general how my locks are looking so here is the front um we're getting somewhere in the back y'all so this is how my locks are looking in the back and um sorry i'm doing car chronicles today i have a full house um my kids are home, my hubby is home. Then I have my little sister. So if you do not know, I have a 14 year old sister. My mom got a real big old age gap. I was the only child for 14 years. Then she started all back over. So I have a 14 year old sister. And my mom is actually um in Florida for the next two weeks. Um, my mom is a LPN, but she just recently finished up um school to be an RN. Yay, mom, I'm so happy for you. So she's doing her clinicals in Florida for the next two weeks. So I have my sister. But once my mama get done with her clinicals, y'all, she's going to be an RN. I'm so happy for her. Congratulations, mommy. I love you so much. I know you're watching my video. But yeah, y'all, I got a full house. So your girl had to come on outside to record. And I'm in the dually truck today. I'm in my hubby truck. So, but so that's what's going on. Um, as far as my locks, I have been seeing major growth. Um, I'm so proud and so happy about my lock journey. Um, I can't wait to continue showing um, you all my journey and updating you all on what's going on um, with my locks. I'm thinking about doing another video. I know I have done it before where I counted my locks, but I want to do like a little update. You never know. I, maybe I have lost some locks. Maybe I counted wrong. So I'm thinking about doing... Um, a lock count video to see do I get the same number as the first time so if that's something y'all want to see you know feel free to let me know in the comments but I definitely think I'm gonna do that um I created me a new set of press on nails so yes if y'all can see it come on focus focus yes honey I did these myself mm-hmm yes but um so that's what's going on now let's get into the bad news y'all so I don't have a loctician no more yeah, let me go put my lip gloss on because it hurts me too. So yeah, y'all, I don't have a loctician no more and I am heartbroken. Um, so as you know, the person who started my locks um three and a half years ago, she have been the only person who ever have ever done my locks. Um, my sister, um, she have done them like one or two times because she do hair really well. Um, she also have locks, but uh, for the most part, my loctician is the only one who touches my hair. I don't go to nobody else, and she the one who has my hair so healthy, so beautiful, so long. Of course, I do things in between, but I feel like ultimately. 
I feel like she plays a really big part in the way my the, the Take way my time, baby. I feel like she plays a really big part in how my locks have grown out to be so long. Um, you know, this has this is only three and a half years of growth, and I feel like my locks are pretty long. You know, but unfortunately, um, I don't have a lot tissue no more, y'all. Um, she have moved away. Um, she have moved to a new state. I'm happy for her and I'm proud of her. And because she have moved, I don't have nobody else to go to. And I'm heartbroken because for me, I don't look for a loctician just based off how well they can do your locks. Because anybody can do your locks well. Well, let me back that up. Everybody can't do locks well. But what I'm saying is I want the quality. Meaning, I need you to slay my locks. I need you to take care of my locks. I need you to moisturize my locks. I need you to use all um, natural products. I need you to use products that are not going to cause build up. Like, I'm just really big on whoever doing my hair. I want them to take care of my locks, not just do my locks. Um, Don't do styles too tight to pull my locks. Don't be putting all these different beeswax and all these products in my locks to make it look crispy, but I get build up in the long run. You know, just make sure you're taking care of my locks. And I feel like in today's time it's so hard to find people who's going to wash your hair who's going to take care of your hair they're going to style your hair and you just get really good energy while going there like um she's a very spiritual person we'll talk about god a lot we'll talk about um different life experiences it's just really great energy going to her so it's going to be really hard to find somebody else to top that and y'all i am scared i don't know what i'm gonna do um, so I think I'm going to be due for a retwist in July. So your girl is on the hunt looking for somebody to do my hair. So if you in the comments and you stay kind of in the Atlanta area, um, Clayton area, Henry County area, um, anywhere up this way, y'all let me know who y'all go to and don't be sending me to anybody now. Send me to somebody who's good, who has good quality, who does a good job, who got good customer service because also... You go to these people these days and you got an appointment, you get there, you knock on the door, and guess what? They won't even open the door for you. Or they don't cancel your appointment, you don't even know. They tell you two days before, like, I'm not going to be able to do your hair. And you're just like, but now I got this event I got to go to, now I don't have a hairdo. So I need somebody who's going to be consistent, who knows what they're doing, who's going to slay my hair, and who has, um, who's going to take care of my hair also. My sister, um, she have locks also, as I mentioned she suggested someone to me and i'm thinking about trying that person out because her locks are so beautiful and she's just like me she's very very big on making sure the person is really going to do a really good job with her hair so i trust what she say it's just that i'm trying to shop around a little bit more closer my sister stays like in the stone mountain area and i'm on all the way on the opposite side so i'm trying to find somebody a little bit closer to me so if y'all have anybody y'all know who does a really good job you know just let me know cleanliness good job gonna slay my locks gonna take care of my locks all those type of things just let me know in the comments below but if i can't find nobody then you'll be seeing me um travel to stone mountain because if i have to travel that's just what i gotta do y'all because i gotta make sure these locks and these babies are staying intact okay but that's what's going on as far as me not being able to find a loctician i'm so sorry to keep going on ranting about it but y'all that hurt me and y'all are like my family y'all know i ain't got no friends y'all know i ain't really got nobody like that besides um my end circle so y'all my venting people so i got to vent to y'all to let y'all know what's going on but um so that's what's going on far as um me with a loctician now let's get into why i've been gone i've been gone for like three weeks y'all so What's been going on? So, originally, I missed a week because, um, as you know, I have an uncle who's very, very, very close to me. Um, he passed away um, one day after my youngest son's birthday, and he was like a father figure. As I always say, my dad is in my life. I have a good relationship with my dad, um, and he plays a really good part in, big part in my life. But my uncle also played a vital part in my life as well. He was like a dad also to me. And, you know it had came close to um his birthday time so i kind of felt sad kind of felt not inspired to post so i needed to take that time to myself just to cope with everything going on and then on top of that but your girl done went back to work y'all as you know i have been a stay-at-home mom for probably a year and a half 
So going back to work has been a very big adjustment for me. Um, I'm used to being able to kind of move the way I want to, cook, see about the kids. Um, my youngest one was home with me while my oldest one was at pre-K. So my youngest kid was on a set schedule. We did schoolwork, we took nap times. Like we had a set schedule in place, but, and I did my YouTube of course, and I ran my press on nail business before I shut it down. You know, just stay at home mom life, but I'm still having to do those things now, but pack it into going back to work. So it's been hard, especially when you're able to move the way you want to and you're able to, you know, maneuver the way you want to and go to work with hubby sometimes. And, you know, just to stay at home mom life, it's so hard with going back to work, but I'm happy, I'm blessed, and I'm finally into the industry that I always wanted to get into. So if you do not know, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology and I have a bachelor's degree in human services. Um, my focus is, was more so towards industrial psychology, which is basically psychology in a workplace. And my goal has always been to get into HR. So your girl finally have landed her HR job, y'all. So it took a while. Um, ever since I was probably a junior in college, I've been saying I want to get into HR. This probably was like back in... 2017 in 2019 I did an internship with the georgia department of community health and i worked in the human resources department but even with that intern it wasn't enough to get me into hr so i've been trying to get into hr for a while um i told myself with me being a stay-at-home mom i was not going back to work unless it was worth it and it's the industry that i wanted to get into and i finally have been able to get into hr y'all so i'm very excited um, it's going great. I love it. Um, I love what I do, but I'm having to learn a new industry and I'm having to learn a new industry and I'm having to get back into working when I haven't worked in a long time. So that's why your girl have not been posting y'all I'm having to get adjusted. Like it has definitely been an adjustment, but your girl finally got some things figured out. So I said, Hey, I gotta get back to my lock family. Let them know what's going on. Why that girl have been missing. It's not that I don't love y'all because I love y'all so much. It's just that. I had to get adjusted, y'all. But um, so that's what's been going on, and that's why I've been gone. Um, if you're somebody who work in HR, y'all give me some tips. Let me know how y'all love it. Let me know how long y'all been into human resources. Let me know. Um, just your take on it. I would really love and enjoy to see that. But um, that's what I've been doing, y'all. But um, I am back now. I'm not gonna sit here and tell y'all I'm gonna post every week. I'm gonna try to. That's my duty because just like work is work youtube is like um my job as well and that's my way to be able to connect to y'all so i'm going to try to post once a week but if i skip one week and i do every two weeks don't hold it to me y'all because your girl out here being a mom your girl out here working again your girl out here doing youtube as my business your girl is busy so i'm trying to juggle a whole lot of things but i promise i'm gonna make sure i post them more consistently and i'm not gonna be going three weeks without posting no more but that's what's been going on. Um, I do got some vlogs going up. Um, so if y'all see some old videos where I have my hair up in the two little space buns, they're older videos. I never posted at my um universal trip. So that vlog will probably go up pretty soon. Um, you know I did my husband a birthday party. Um, so that video will probably go up pretty soon. So that's probably just older content I'm editing, but I'm just not getting a chance to edit and post. So if you see those videos, don't be like, she don't went and got that hairstyle done again. Because as much as I love that style, y'all, it's just an old video that I'm finally getting a chance to um, update. But, y'all, this is what's been going on. Um, I'm back at it. If you have any ideas for me for as lock content, please feel free to drop it in the comments. I hope y'all not too upset with me for staying gone. And I love you all, and I'll be back next week. And, yes! Look at these locks, y'all. Look at these locks. Look at these locks. Mm -hmm. But I'll be back really soon with a lock update, y'all. So I hope y'all have a very, very happy day. Have a good week. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Make sure you're drinking your water. And talk to y'all later. Deuce.